Hello everyone, this is a quick update video from our recent video which delved into boss states. And I've noticed a lot of the comments were asking how you could add more states instead of just one, which I did not uh, mention inside of the first video. So I'll do this in the second video right now. So I'm going to begin by adding a new function, which will be above our special timer. And we're going to be using the RNG system inside of Godot. I changed it up a little bit because I realized there's a small error. Anyways, this will select a random attack if the player is in proximity and it will select from attack one, attack two, or attack three, which can be different functions that lead to different travel states. Another one that many games such as Dark Souls use is to find out the percentage of health that the boss has. Now here I'm going to mention that you wanna make sure that it is a float, because if you do not have these functions setting it to be a float, it will give you a one or a zero. This is because Godot automatically rounds any number that is less than one to zero. And so here you could also set it to do uh, a function as well. And otherwise you can just have it automatically go into attack one every time the player is in proximity. And so whichever function that you select, be sure to change it down here. So I will do select random attack and that will be the function that I use. So I'll briefly explain how you could implement another attack. All you have to do is just, if you've already watched the previous tutorial videos, you already know you can add a state and you can change the travel state to it. So I could have it as attack two. And then I can make sure that in my script, I have a blend state I have my attacks blended and I can go back into the script and change it to attack two here. I hope this video was useful and I will see you guys in the next video.